and welcome everyone. So today's video is a late 60s, early 70s, groupy GTOs inspired get ready with me. We're doing this look. I absolutely love it. It's very outrageous. It's very GTOs. It's inspired by a look that Miss Pamela wore. And if you want to know how I achieved this look, just keep on watching. So I'm going to start by covering up all of the imperfections on my skin and I'm going to use the Tarte Amazonian Clay foundation. I don't apply foundation all over my face, I'm just going to cover up all of like the little imperfections that I have. So yeah, let's do that. Also, please ignore the root situation. I know my hair looks kind of insane. Um, the root is so present now i was planning on wearing a hat today but then like i couldn't even see my face anymore because like it was such a big hat so i decided not to do that and instead do my hair like i did it now and i really like that i saw it on a picture where pretty much all of the gto's had like scarves tied up in their hair and i really loved it so that's why i did it but we're still in lockdown here so it's not possible to go and see a hairdresser that's why my roots are looking that crazy <laughs> um, if you're coming from the future and you clicked on this video welcome to the year 2021 it is um, still the whole pandemic situation is very present and um, stores are still pretty much closed like honestly I can only go to the grocery store because anything else is closed currently so yeah okay so that looks pretty good, I guess. So this is like the inspiration pick for the look that I'm going for. I love the way that her eyes are done. I'm gonna put up a picture here where you can probably see it better. I just absolutely love that. I think she's the cutest. Also, I just read her book. Well, not just, I read it actually like in fall, but it's such an amazing book. I sometimes like reread chapters of it. Um, if you haven't read it yet, it's I'm With The Band by Pamela the Bar or Miss Pamela of the GTOs. It's an amazing book. It's full of wonderful stories of like late 60s, early 70s groupy culture. So if you're interested in that, I can highly recommend you to get that book. So it looks to me as if she's like wearing kind of a darker, like a light smoky eye. So we're gonna attempt on doing that. So a friend of mine just gifted me this little like palette because she wasn't using it. She obviously like it's still sealed. She she never used it. Um, but I think this would be perfect. Kind of like maybe a light blue and dark blue. I think that's what we're gonna attempt. So let's try that. So I'm gonna start with the light blue color and apply it all over my lid. So basically, with all of my makeup looks, I kind of start somewhere with an inspiration pick, and then I usually just do whatever I, I like to do. Um, today my makeup is highly inspired by the dress that I'm wearing. I have had this dress for quite a while now, but I kind of rediscovered it. Wow! Just a quick little appreciation moment for that beautiful eye eyeshadow. Basically what I was trying to say is that I don't really plan out the entire look. I just start somewhere and then go with it. And this dress had been hanging in my closet for such a long time now because it's kind of been very cold. It's been snowing the past few weeks, but it's finally gotten warmer. So I feel like we're good to wear this. Also, who am I kidding? Like, it's not like I'm gonna go anywhere in this. So I feel like around the house, it'll be warm enough. I am in love with this eyeshadow color. It is so, so gorgeous. So as you can see, I just kind of applied it all over the eyelid. Next up, I'm gonna use this silvery color and I'm just gonna apply this into the inner corner of my eyes to kind of open up the eyes. Wow, the pigments of these colors are insane. This is so beautiful. Okay, so let me tell you a bit about the GTO's history while I do this. So basically, the GTO's were a group of dancers um, who danced on stage Sunset Strip in LA in the late 60s and they were kind of discovered by Frank Zappa who put them together into a group and they were never really a band like they made that always really clear no one of them really played any instruments they were just dancing and performing but 
They had so much fun doing it and Frank Zappa thought it would be a great idea for them to make a record. So they actually did, they wrote like a couple of songs and they made a record called Permanent Damage. It's actually pretty good. I, I kind of like it. It's just a lot of fun to listen to it. And they sing on it and um, yeah, then they kind of performed. And Miss Pamela was also involved with like a lot of other famous musicians like Robert Plant. And um, yes, they were just really living for the music and having fun. And they always say, like in interviews, Miss Pamela always says that they were kind of freaks back then. Um, and they were just doing what they loved. And I think that's very inspiring. So yeah. Okay, wow. Now that we have this part done, we're gonna go in with this darker blue color and kind of do like a cut crease with dark blue. That's what we're gonna attempt. As said, I'm just using the GTOs as like an inspiration. I'm not recreating any look in particular, but this is kind of how I get ready. And since I get so many questions on how I put together a makeup look, I thought I was just gonna take you along. So usually I start by going on Pinterest. And if you're interested in my Pinterest, just check the link in the description box. I post there all the time. And I just have a huge folder of like makeup looks and then I just kind of browse through it and then take a picture. And I usually don't recreate it like step by step, but it's just the inspiration. So let's take this dark blue color. I love how shimmery all of these colors are. And do a little cut crease moment. So as always, when I do a cut crease, I use a little bit of shadow to foreshadow it. And then go in with like a bit more color. Kind of like to go for a bit of a smudgier look with this, I guess. I feel like it kind of matches the theme. I woke up this morning with Sugar by the Archies stuck in my head and now I can't get rid of it. So I'm just, so you can see, I really like how it looks right here. I think it's still too light down here. So we're gonna go in with more color and make it a bit smudgier. So now that that is done, we're gonna move on to the other side and just do the same thing. Someone is drilling a hole into their apartment wall and it's very loud up here. So next up, I'm gonna use this little brush again and then go into the light blue color again and kind of like take it up a bit more. I am sorry if it gets loud every now and then. Someone is drilling holes into their apartment walls and it's super loud up here. So I hope you're still able to hear me. I try to talk when they're kind of taking a break um, and it's not as present, but if you hear it, I am very sorry, but that is what's currently going on. So I feel like the eyeshadow already looks pretty good. I don't wanna do too much more because I really wanna do like the bottom lash line the way that she did it and I don't wanna overdo it. I really love how she drew on her lower lashes. Um, and I'm gonna try and attempt to do that now. I'm gonna use an eyeliner and just, just kind of try and go for it. I don't know. I feel like I want to start at the outer side. Yeah, let's just... Looking up all of these pictures of her now. She's so, so gorgeous. Okay, let's just, let's just start. Just trying to do it with like a very light hand. Okay, so I kind of really like how this one turned out. So we're gonna attempt on just doing more of these. So basically I'm just doing like triangles, so making them kind of thicker on the lash line and then trying to make them as skinny and as fine going out down there. So 
so this side is done. I feel like it kind of looks a bit more smudgy than I would like it to look. But basically, I have <laughs> used three types of eyeliners and all of them are kind of empty. I definitely, desperately need to get a new one. But the good thing is, I feel like their makeup wasn't like really crisp and clean too. Basically, the GTOs were all about having fun. They weren't about looking perfect. They were about looking interesting and looking outrageous. And I feel like that is absolutely doing it justice. And I, I can't really like it. So I'm gonna go on to the second eye and I will check in with you once that one is done too. So as you can see, I kind of like made them a bit shorter on the center part, I made them a bit shorter and then kind of getting longer around here. They're not the most clean and symmetrical, but I kind of really like it. Honestly, I am not mad at this. Let's like add a bit more up here. I really like it. Um, I kind of feel like Alice Cooper too, which is really on brand because as I said, like we're just going for a groupy look in general. Imagine me just going to a concert right now. I would love to do that with this look. I, I kind of really like it. And this goes to show you that my makeup doesn't always turn out perfect either. And I still kind of like it. I feel like it is still very cool. It's very unique. Um, I kind of really do like it. So I'm just gonna add some mascara and then move on to my eyebrows. I'm just gonna do the top lashes because I feel like the bottom lashes are already very prominent in this look. And if this crumbles, I will just have completely black eyes. So we're just gonna do the upper lashes. I feel like this would be the perfect look to go to like a Kiss concert or an Alice Cooper concert or something. <sighs> Remember when we could go to concerts? I'm gonna move on by doing my eyebrows and today I don't feel like really like coloring them in or anything because I really don't want to do anything that draws away the attention from the eye makeup. So I'm just gonna use a bit of eyebrow gel to kind of like feather them a bit. I love the look of a natural eyebrow. If you were wondering, I don't really plug them or anything. I just really like the basic, simple, thick eyebrow look. In the inspiration picture, Miss Pamela also had very rosy cheeks and I feel like since there's so much red in the dress, a bit of rosy cheek would kind of go with it. So I'm gonna use this. This is the Baby Lips Lip Balm Crayon. And basically, I'm just gonna put a bit up here and then I'm just gonna use my fingers to kind of rub it in. So as you can see, this doesn't really like make a big difference, but I kind of like the natural look. So yeah, I just kind of look a li little bit less dead with it. So that's cool. Honestly, I feel like we're done. I mean, there's already a lot going on, so I feel like we are done now. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of this to my lips. I don't like to wear like a real lipstick or anything. I don't really do that. But sometimes I'll just use a bit of color and then just kind of use my fingers to smudge it in. And then it just really lightly coats the lips. And we're done. I guess we're done. I really like how this turned out. It's a bit outrageous. It is a bit much for like an everyday look. I mean, depending on how you like it. I I kind of really do like it. I mean, I would love to go to a concert or a festival like this now, which that sadly isn't possible. But fingers crossed, we will be able to do all of that next year. And um, yeah, I will definitely wear this look again. Please let me know in the comments if you like this look, if you would wear something like this. Also, if you like, if you're a fan of the GTOs, I feel like the whole vibe, the whole spirit of it is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna put in some shots now of me so that you can kind of see like the whole dress and how I paired it and what else I wore with it. But basically, this is the finished look.
that's it for today's video. If you like it, I would love you to give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend. It supports me, it supports the channel, and your support really means the world to me. If you're interested in more 60s and 70s inspired makeup look, fashion looks, lifestyle inspiration, just click subscribe. I post three videos a week all about those themes. I hope you're having an amazing day. Go out, enjoy the sunshine, take yourself some time to focus on you and your mental health today and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys!